All right. <laughs> Hello. We figured we would uh, try to capture some of the sunlight with yes. Puds. Yes. Say hi, Puds. Just don't stand up. <laughs> nope. Yep. <laughs> this is uh, Mary's and my not new. Uh, summer new. Summer uh, well, several years old. I was old. gonna say addiction, but <laughs> our new hobby. But we've kind of been into it for a little bit. But uh -huh. the. Um, Recently, Mary was turned on to a site. I can't remember how you found out about it or your friend or somebody. What was the name of the place? What's the name of the This company? is. These are all from Emerald Hollow Mine and purchased through the Hidden Gem Trading Company. Hidden Gem. Mm -hmm. Emerald Hollow Mine. Correct. And some of these came from uh, Lucky Lake. Yes. Uh, gem Mine or Emerald like gem mine that. yeah so mine. um emerald hollow is in north carolina hidden night north carolina um and then um lucky lake is just down the road from us about what an hour and a half yeah, it's yeah. southeast of farmville near fort polk down in blackwater not that far out there so we figured we'd try to get some of these in the sunlight today and get some decent video and some pictures of them but also to kind of talk about them just for a bit um where do we want to start with the gemstones that are cut? Yes, because that was the first visit. That was the first yeah. trip. That these, all three of these are. See um, if you can actually see that green one there, because I can't. All right, do you remember what stone that is? Oh yeah, that's a tourmaline. tourmaline. That's a green tourmaline. This is the one that when they were helping us identify after our bucket, they got really excited mm -hmm. because these are these are this color is really nice. I'm shooting into the sun too. And, it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to really see some of the colors on these things, mm -hmm. at least from my point of view. But uh, that's a green tourmaline. What's this red one? This is a garnet. Garnet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, so pretty. Nice deep red color. And then this is a cut iolite. You don't see that as a gem, you know, in traditional stores, but it is beautiful. Look at that, like, purpley blue color. Mm -hmm. It looks like kind of a, a paler version of a tanzanite. Yeah. This particular one. Hold them like with the face facing the sun. That seemed to get a little bit of light. It's hard to really. Can you yeah. take the lid off? Yeah, I can do it. Hard to handle them. We're mm -hmm. also out here in the yard. Careful, that's going to come out. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not going any further than that. It's hard to handle them. Plus, we don't want to drop it in the yard. We'll never see these again. Right. But um, when you backlight those things, mm -hmm. if you underlight it. Here, let me give you my flashlight. And you can kind of see if it'll. And there we go. That's going to be tough. Yeah, put the lid back on it. Hang on. It's real time, folks. A little scary if you're out here in the yard, too. Let's see if I can focus on it. There you go. That's a good color. Isn't it pretty? Like that deep red? Yeah, it's like a burgundy. Can you do that with the green one? It matches. It's actually lighter than this one, though. This is also a garnet. And this lighter than this one. Yeah. Try that with the little green. What was it again? The it's green? a tourmaline. Tourmaline. Isn't that amazing? Let's see if I can focus on. There we go. Isn't that amazing? Look at that color. Yeah, that is cool. Mm -hmm. And now the little purple one. This is iolite. Iolite. I love this one. It's it's not blue. It's not purple. It's kind of in between. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And then we and have then a we couple all... more gemstones. This one is also from Lucky Lake. Oh, and I have long, I have long legs, <laughs> and that is a tiger's eye that Dave had cut into a cab cabochon. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty. We have these blue ones. These are so those were our Lucky Lake yes. um, gems that we had cut. Yes, we have more that we haven't that, that are still just in rock form. Right. Oh, and this is one other Lucky Lake item. This is that came. From Lucky Lake? Yes, this came out of our bucket at Lucky Lake. Oh, cool! I thought that might be from Arizona. No, this is this came out of the bucket at Lucky Lake, and it's supposedly called the Money Stone. So, yeah, so it sits on our checkbook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, what are these blue ones again? These are London blue topaz. Here, I'll light them up for you. Let's see if I can focus. Uh, it's hard that black. Yeah. But I mean, get the idea. So. Yeah, these are big enough that I'm okay ta taking one out and putting it in my uh, hand. I can get the lid off. So this will give you an idea. And yeah, just hold, put it in the palm of your hand and I'll go from there. Yeah, there we go. Much better, yes. Ooh. Right, let me focus. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's a good way to do it. 
And we have two of these. These we got from the uh, Emerald Hollow Mine. This is from the Hidden Gem Trading Post. These did not come out of the mine. Nah. Um, but these are, uh, we have two, and they are both London Blue Topaz. Now, when you get a London Blue Topaz, that means that the topaz has been heated just to acquire that deeper blue color. Um, it's not anything crazy. It's just heated to get that blue. And we have two of them, and they are very close in size and cut and clarity. So I'm going to probably turn them into earrings. Yeah. Because they're just so pretty. And after that, we've got, so those are, I think that's everything cut, right? That uh, we have. That's, that's everything, everything that's a gem cut, yes. Yeah. Then everything else, we just kind of, we go onto their, um, they have like Facebook Live events mm -hmm. where they have a little board that they put out and they let you try to claim items. They don't, it's not really an auction. They just say, this is this price. And the first person that says, mine, gets it. Mm -hmm. um, so I collect a lot of the purples and blues and reds. Like the amethyst here, I love amethyst. It's all Dave. And I always try to sneak, sneak, you know, one or two if I can. Um, for decent prices too, it's not like I, this doesn't break the bank. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, the latest piece, which is this one, let me go back here. Now this, while it looks like amethyst, that is not amethyst. No. This is uh, fluorite. fluorite. Correct. And cool, the stone that it's on, it's got yellow in there as well. There's a really cool place to hold the light. Yep, it's gonna be right there. There, okay. Uh -huh. And if you point it towards me, yep. Let me show you guys this, let's see if I can focus on it. See that triangle yellow? Mm-hmm. How freaking cool is that? Turn it over towards the sun, rotate it, yeah. There we go. Wow, how cool is that? I mean, that is amazing. So this piece right there, we got in the mail today. And then look at that, you just rotate it all around mm -hmm. and everywhere you look, it's different. Look, there's more of that yellow band there. And then there's more under here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everywhere you look on this piece, there's something new to look at. Yeah, I really, really like that piece. It's just, it's not amethyst. Hold that, don't move. I'm gonna try to get the lighting on that. That is so cool, look at, hang on. How close can I get with it? Still, there Before we go. Before it rebels. <laughs> yeah, that is just awesome looking. I wish I could take a picture of that right now. Oh. But yeah, come Foods. Excited? Don't, don't bang into the table. Rocks. I already did it once. I eat Ooh, rocks. I gave you another angle if you want to. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah. Look, there's a deep purple fire right back in here too, which is really pretty. Yeah, it's a lot of really, every time I look at it, there's something new to see, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, and that yellow is more like a golden yellow. It's just super cool. Mm -hmm. That's probably my favorite piece that I have so far. That just showed up today, along with... Sparkly. Yeah. Sparkles. It's a piece of copper. Yes. Which is really cool. Just I, fun. I've never had a piece of copper like that. I've had gold, but um, not that big, but I've never had a piece of copper. That's pretty cool. Of course, that's our neighbor's terrible sound system. <laughs> I can't remember what this one's called. Star... Aragonite. Aragonite. Oh, I can't believe I remembered that. <laughs> I call it the brown sugar crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. And then this is more fluorite, I believe. That tr This, guy this is a little fluorite. And at one angle, there's a tiny bit of blue in here. But otherwise, it's, it's to totally clear. It, yeah. yeah. Especially in the sun because it's washing it out. And Mary goes for more of the, like... The clear, more. Let's talk about these little guys real quick. Mm -hmm. These stones. Do you remember what these are called? Uh, Can you hold those? Cut axiolite? If I'm butchering it, those who are rock hounds, forgive us. We are newer at some of these yeah. lesser known cuts. They look and, like and glass. Stones. They I look know. like something you would. They look like Coca Cola with. bottle glass, don't they? Yeah, or windshield. <laughs> But yeah, there's um, such really cool features in there too. That's what I've heard referred to as angel hair on the inside of them, which I can't remember. Oh, that's a good angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's super So cool. there's inclusions and fractures. Mm -hmm. But there's, um, Mary goes for more of like the clear type gems and, and stones. And yeah, that one's a really neat. And what is the, what runs through it there? That black? Tourmaline. Tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Runs through these pieces of uh, quartz. Mm-hmm. And there's all different types and sizes and shapes and colors and yeah, that tourmaline, the stripes that are, that go through there are just really, really cool. They look like cracks almost, but then 
Mm -hmm. You pay more attention. You're like, oh man, what is that? Thing? And then there's this one, which is this one looks uh, this one looks like snow. I think it's like stripes mm -hmm. in the snow. I just think that one's cool. That was neat. Yeah. And then this one, this one I was super excited about when I got. Look, let's see if we can kind of. Oh yeah, let's see yeah. if I can get some of that. That's heavily striped. Yeah. That's like uh. That's super cool. Snow after you've driven through it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we got just a couple of, of clear ones, which are, these are cool. These just They have more in. like the gold on the inside of them, don't they? Yeah, these have like the super thin, oh. like angel hair. Sorry, I don't want to burn the lens. <laughs> this one is a magnifying yeah, that glass. that one's cut but, like a magnifying glass. And this one is cut like a leaf. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yeah. I've got one piece of quartz that actually looks like a leaf. If you could hold that one up. Absolutely. When you look, not quartz, excuse me, amethyst. There's, I, do I have that? There we go. I'll get my fingers out of the way. Look at that thing. That is sweet. Mm-hmm. I really like that one a lot. And then we have um, a few, like, this one is, I can't, God, I can't remember. Is it? There goes our sunlight. Is that rodeo light? Stop moving. I'll find out. Sorry. <laughs> can't remember which one this is it might it's actually red if you can get a light a... around it there's red over it's you can see through it almost it's i think it's a garnet or a ruby with something in it and i just can't i can't remember the description very well because it's newer sorry um lapis lazuli mm -hmm. and this is just a little cabochon and i love the back because you got that little bit of white there mm -hmm. it's like the ocean and then the waves on the shore that's why i like it but look at that blue isn't that fabulous yeah that's cool and then we have, um, this is moss agate. And this is another one where it's like totally different up to the light. Yeah, I like that. Like, look at that through the light. Like with the light behind it. And then look at it on my palm and look how different it looks. See, you can't even tell it's... Yeah, it's super cool. And, we have... and then we have a labrador... I can't remember. I think labradorite or... this is labradorite. Okay. I think this is too, but I could. I think I might be wrong. So some kind of an ite. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Just a really cool cut. And then, ooh, I love this one. I can't remember what this one Red is. Red Jasper, is that right? Maybe. I don't think so. It's about as smooth as glass, too. Mm -hmm. It's like a, they cut it to be like a worry stone. It's really cool. And then this, I love this. I picked this one out. This is Ocean Jasper that's just been tumbled till it's smooth. Let's see if I can get my hand. Okay, I'll move. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. And look at the bottom. bottom. I just mm. love it. I love all the different colors. And definitely yeah, reminds me. This looks like if you go to the South Pacific, it looks like the little islands in the, in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get this one while the sunlight is still out here. Yes, here, um, I'll angle it for you. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I see can I see can... it. Can you? No. Here, let me. It's probably easier if I do it from okay. this angle because the, there we go. Can you guys see that fire that comes out of there? Now that's a labrador, right? That I know that. Is the coolest thing ever. And it's a big stone, too. Mm -hmm. and it has... There's some on the back as well. But um, I leave. Most of these stay in my window seal. Window sill? Window sill. Window sill. Seal? Window window sill. sill. Mm -hmm. window sill. I'm a writer. Um, <laughs> and the sun hits it at different angles throughout the day. And it just looks super, super cool. But uh, that that's our latest, like, hobby. And we'll link the um, gem mine and the trading company and everything mm -hmm. in the comments or in the description of the video. And they broadcast every Monday night. Um, Emerald Hollow broadcasts every Monday night and Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and they do um, they do Mineral Monday and um, uh, it's like cut Gem Thursday. And yeah, so it's, it's more a, like cut stuff on Thursdays. little more minerals like this on on Mondays, and then more of like this kind of stuff, the like topazes and more cut stuff on Thursdays. And you guys would be surprised, like we didn't spend a ton of money on this. I mean, I don't want to go into everything we spent, but I mean, <laughs> this was barely over fifty dollars. That's mm -hmm. freaking huge. That's a gigantic, awesome piece for less for less than sixty bucks. It's actually less than fifty five. Yep. So super super cool. I really, really enjoy that, but don't, don't think you're going to have to, yes, they have like two or $3,000 pieces sometimes, oh, yeah. but, um, <laughs> you can, you can have a really good time.
for $20, $30 mm -hmm. and watch a nice little fun show and learn some stuff, which is also really nice. That's why I was even able to name most of these. Like I said, there's a couple I've, I've just not quite got in my head yet, but because we've been watching for a few weeks and because we went to the, the we started this, gosh, six years ago or so, mm -hmm. um, this, like, that's why I can still remember that this is Iolite, for example. Seven years ago, this is my 40th birthday. Yeah. That you took me to the gym. So six and a half. <laughs> so yeah, man, I wish, I wish I could get better. It's hard to take pictures of this stuff and mm -hmm. video because I can't get really good. I don't have a great camera for this. I mean, right now we're filming with an iPhone. <laughs> so yeah, an iPhone 11, but we're still filming with an iPhone, you know, so not the best uh, the very beginning opening shot hopefully that's in this video is a 4k <laughs> bless you excuse me it's also allergy season <laughs> a 4k pass that i did on the table but uh, hopefully uh, you guys get an idea of some of the how cool these things are so anyway i thought that was a cool little video yeah. and uh kind of want to support that little gem mine down there and if you guys get a chance go check them out i think i don't know if they're open to the public yet but they are open to um the gem mine is yeah, appointments um, and stuff. So. I know Emerald Hollow is um, their lapidary is not open, which is where they set gems and stuff. But the gem mine itself, I believe, is open. Um, I don't know about Lucky Lake. Yeah, but yeah, tune in on Mondays and uh, Thursdays. Thursdays, it's a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.